everybody i am manpreet and i make book related videos on this channel and today's video is my wrap up video where i am going to tell you about the books i read in the last month tv shows i have watched in the last month and also you know overall how last month was for me as far as this channel is concerned so without further ado let's get started with this video because it's going to be a bit long so start i will begin with the books i read last month last month i read six books and two three of them three of them were a part of series and one of them was by an indian author one was non fiction and two of them were classics so let me show you what i read and what i think about those books first book that i finished reading was a second book in the ramchandra series by amish tripathi and this is sita warrior of mithila i absolutely loved this book i really want to do a review as well i have been very late i know you will know why in the end of this video but i really liked it i really liked the narration style and i really liked the characters i really liked sita because you know most of the times ramayan is more about ram and lakshman and all of the guys and the head sita is a strong character which is like amazing i like smart and strong women in books and that's why i love this book so much moreover that is not the only element which i loved in this book there are so many things which i think one has to appreciate it's like a world level book not like an india level book for, according to me so i absolutely loved it i know a lot of you have tried to read amish tripathi and they kind of find it difficult and honestly when i started with ramchandra series that was i kind of liked the first book in the immortals of melua series but when i actually read this book first book in the ramchandra series i also found it a bit difficult to you know get it get along with the book but my suggestion to you guys would be that you know do not think of his books as something like a retelling because these are just not any retellings they can be called retellings but they are very very different so stop comparing his books stop co comparing this ramchandra series with actual ramayan and then you will be able to read it in a much better way so that's my suggestion my rating for this book would be now 4.5 out of 5 stars the second book that i finished reading is another popular that you guys wanted me to read and that is how to be a boss by lily singh this is an absolutely amazing books i have read a lot of non fictions and to be honest most of the non fictions like this which are more about you know self help advice are similar there is so much of noise outside they just started now i'm telling you but i was saying that most of them are similar however this one was pretty different because of the personality of the author and i really could connect with this book and i found it really good because of that i gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars and i also will do the review of this one and they will be coming soon very soon the third book that i finished reading and i hope people won't make noise like everyone is blowing the horn outside my house why but the third book was the first book in the infernal devices series which is clockwork angel now i really really loved this book it's set in london and it's about this girl named tessa who has a special ability and nobody knows who she is like everybody knows about the shadow hunter world and there is the shadow hunter world but even the shadow hunters don't know what she is and there is a very uh, engrossing and very nice plot in this book and there are so many references to books because tessa loves books and i absolutely fell in love with this book it was like amazing i would give it 4.5 out of 5 stars my favorite in the whole shadow hunter chronicles so far it was like on the page 1 i knew i would love this book and i loved this book the next book that i finished reading is the fourth book in the model instrument series and it's city of fallen angels now honestly this book is more focused on simon and simon was never my favorite character in this whole series and i do i feel like i never liked clary enough and i never liked simon enough so this was more focused on simon but somehow it was really interesting to read I feel like my experience with this book was much better than the first two books in the series. So I would give it 4 out of 5 stars. I enjoyed reading it. I would not say that I loved a lot of things about it, but I enjoyed reading it and I think sometimes that is all you need in books. So I am very happy with it. The second last book that I finished reading is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Now I tried to read this book once before and I could not read this one. But this time I fell in love with this whole thing i feel like once you get past the first 2 3 pages of this book you are deeply engrossed in this book you are 
really really interested what this little girl has to say and it really felt like this whole you know theme of the book and the way it has been written i really felt amazing while reading this book and i do understand why it's a classic and why everybody is like this is a book that you must read i do want to do full reviews of all the books so i am not going into very details like my new details but i will be coming up with a review soon so maybe you will get pissed off with too many reviews but i have to do it i really want to do reviews so i'll do the review of this one as well but i absolutely loved it and i would say that try this book get past first two three pages and then you will absolutely adore this book so i'll give this book 4.5 out of 5 stars and also i really need to explain what is in this uh, book what is the like theme of the book which i felt like i didn't read the back back cover and i felt like you know everybody has uh, you know maybe you guess what is to kill a mockingbird and you feel like it's related to animals and everything it's nothing related to that yes there is a dog in the book but he dies anyway i really want to talk more about this book in my review so you make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so that you know when i do a review of this book because i have a lot to say about it and the last book that i read in last month was the perks of being a wallflower by stephen shubosky i know i didn't pronounce the name correctly but anyway this is a modern classic now and this was our book of the month we did a full spoilery discussion of this book in just last day and i'll link that video in the description box down below if you have read this book then check out that video otherwise wait for my review because this is an absolutely amazing book and i feel like when you find some good books you are supposed to wait and read them and then actually know about or you know do a spoilery discussion about them so i gave it 4 out of 5 stars and i absolutely love this one as well so these were the six books that i read last month and i was absolutely happy with my reading i did try to read another book which was so terrible i could not get past page 1 but i'm not going to discuss about that in this video Now I'm going to tell you the TV shows. Now the thing is last month I watched many many TV shows like not in July in June but I forgot to include all of them in my wrap up and I was like petrified because I really wanted to talk about those shows so let's get started these are like the shows which I watched in last 2 months. Number 1 Orange is the New Black. It's about this woman who is in jail and you know it's about all the women in jail and it's so 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 interesting all the characters are so amazing um i kind of didn't like piper <laughs> and her girlfriend is also like now i am on season 3 of orange is the new black and now i like alex a lot but piper i do not like her at all and i loved all other characters even when they are bad like pensa kaki Uh, red red is like an absolutely adorable person and i really like the actress as well the show has so many good actresses so many good people i really really love the whole show you should definitely check it out i think after episode 1 you will be hooked and you will be binge watching the entire season and continue that it's so good my ratings to fall orange is a black season 1 and 2 is 4 out of 5 stars and season 3 is like 3.5 i haven't finished it yet but still the second show that i absolutely loved was how to get away with murder there are two seasons out and it's so 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 amazing i felt like first season was like a 5 out of 5 season you will totally binge watch it but the second season was like a bit less it was like a 3.5 out of 5 star season but i am really waiting for the next season as well because i really loved it i really loved it it's about really it's about these uh, lawyers and i really like every story that is based around you know law school or lawyers corporate lawyers um these are criminal lawyers in how to get away with murder and it was really fun to watch it so i really loved it now the third show that i really really loved was blacklist i think i'm on season 2 Season one, however, was like oh my god! I think I'm on season three or four. Yeah, I'm on season four, and I really love Raymond Reddington, and he is such an amazing guy. So now this is about this criminal who comes to the FBI, and he's like, you know what? I'm going to tell you about all these criminals who are big criminals, and 
you know you can save the world by putting them down and he helps these people and it's so amazing Raymond Reddington and his personality his character is like you know the way he tells stories every single time I think I can make a whole discussion video about blacklist and how much I love Raymond Reddington if you want me to make that do let me know I'll make that because I really really want to talk about it it's like my absolute favorite show you must watch it by the way all of these shows are on Netflix if you're wondering where I watched them yeah I took the Netflix subscription I never had money but I still took it okay <laughs> so this is absolutely five out of five uh, show first two seasons are by five out of five third season is like four out of five and fourth one now I'm like slow with it but first two seasons amazing go watch them number four I also started watching Game of Thrones I skipped the season one because the thing is usually I forget about books right I do not remember what I read in Pride and Prejudice I do not remember any of the books that I read during my school time nothing at all in them not even a single character's name okay I know that that is exaggerating but still I do not remember anything at all but Game of Thrones I think I read that book in 2012 or 13 and I remember every single passage of it so when I watch the show I'm like okay this is going to happen I know the dialogue I don't know how this is not me this is something weird happening with me but I remember that book so I skipped season one I could not watch it I could not get into it I tried so many times I started with season two and now I'm really loving it I finished season two and I'm not like binge watching Game of Thrones because I'm not that interested the episodes are like a bit too long for me but I'm really enjoying Game of Thrones as well season two would be like 3.5 out of 5 stars for me I think these were the top shows that I watched I did try watching Prison Break season 5 now first four seasons of Prison Break were like amazing and they were they were what they were supposed to be there was not supposed to be a fifth season and now that there is it's terrible I am not enjoying it at all like I am watching it I like it because of the characters but you know it's not like the prison break prison break so I would give it like 2.5 out of 5 stars I feel like the story ended in a very good manner and they should not have tried to you know make a season 5 it is, it is a lost cause lost cause yes guys these are the shows that I'm going to talk about in this video I did watch a couple of more shows but I do not remember the names right now yeah. memory problem but that is it for you know my wrap up I do want to address that last month I missed a lot of videos I make one video every alternate day every odd day and I missed a lot of videos last month lot of dates last month and I'm really sorry about that I know from my face you cannot say that it really feels that way but I'm really sorry about that and I will try my best to make up for it this month so wish me good luck and tell me how do you think my wrap up is tell me like I am absolutely happy about my wrap up there are so many good things that I read so I am really happy about it tell me what you read last month and which are the shows that you watched last month and what you think about them don't forget to mention your ratings in the comments okay I really you know make my decisions on the basis of what you guys say about things so really I need your comments yes that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed watching it and if you did do hit a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and share this video this is Manpi signing off I'll be back with another video very soon